or art programs like that on TV. Who will watch them? Without fights, they're boring. Well, violent shows are popular. Uh, they wouldn't be on TV if people didn't watch them, and they make more money. But it's important that you remember that the things you see on TV are only pretend. What do you mean, pretend? Well, when they have fights on TV shows, it looks like people are getting hurt, but they really aren't. Watch this. Uh, yeah? <laughs> Pretty painful. But the thing you have to remember is those fights aren't real. They're staged by professional actors and stuntmen. They work hard to make fights look like the real thing, but they also work hard to make sure no one gets hurt. That's all part of the job of the professional stuntman. We might want to start out with just simple techniques. Now, when, when we uh, teach stunt fighting, there's different types of hits. First of all, the camera. It's not what I'm seeing. It's basically what the camera or the eye is seeing. So, for instance, if we just take the straight punch, for instance, and I throw the straight punch right here, you can see that there's like three or four inches in between here. But he can react to it. He reacts to it. Now, if he reacts a little late, you can see right away that it doesn't sell. So the, the director would say, cut, cut, cut. If he relax, reacts too soon, then he usually gets hit by it. So the timing of the, the fighter is, is so essential. But if I move over here just a little bit over the shoulder, if the camera can see over my shoulder here, boom, now it looks like I hit him. Boom, boom, boom. And then, then it, makes it, look, it makes it look like I really hit him from that angle. But the straight punch or the straight kick is the hardest one because the camera usually has to be over the shoulder and so forth. That's why in uh, a lot of martial arts movies and fight scenes, you see a lot of circular techniques. Now let's just take the hooking punch, for instance. From a side view, you can sh see if I throw this hooking punch, there's space in between there. That's called, that's not a hit. So it's, it's called a no hit. So if you'd see that in the editing room, they would edit that out, it would be no good even though it looks like the timing is there and his reaction is good. Also, since I'm throwing a hooking punch, it's a little bit more powerful punch than the jab, so his reaction would be a little more dramatic. But if we come at this angle right here, if the camera is good for me, pow, and I throw it at that angle with that attitude, it looks like I hit him. Same thing here, I'm gonna come back with the left. And this could go on all day long. But you, you see that there's a safety space in there. Now the kicking, it's a little different story. Now the circular techniques are beautiful. Uh, let's just say what we call a crescent kick, which is used a lot in movies. It's easy to do, it's easy to teach. Well, first of all, let's do a front kick. If I do a front kick, I'm just going to do a front kick at your face so you'll stand still. You'll see, boom, that there's space right there. So to the camera, and I'm hoping the camera sees that, boom, so you react to it, boom. But it still doesn't mean anything, so if that's in the editing room, you just got to cut that out. But once again, from this angle here, if the angle's right we're, and we're fighting, pow, then it, look, it should look like a hit. To the, uh, to the viewer. All right, the crescent kick, the circular kick is kind of like the, the hooking punch. There's gonna be space here, so if you saw that in the editing room and the ca uh, camera <laughs> picked that up, another camera, that's why we usually use three or four cameras or maybe more in a fight scene, another camera might have picked up that particular technique at this angle <laughs> and followed through. And it would have made it look a little <laughs> more realistic. It's a little more dramatic movement. Uh, different types of throws that look very nice. Uh, one that you see a lot in the films is a sword arm. Now basically we'll do it from this angle, but what happens is they shoot in like with a knife and we block it, and it's almost like a clothesline where we're coming through. It's a devastating technique if it's done uh, at full speed. But at this angle, looking at him sh shooting in, you'll see that his feet went out and he was able to take that fall and uh, sell the move to the camera. Some of the other throws, uh, especially when the person is armed with uh, types of weapons, uh, let's just do a slashing motion. I'll just do it here. And you'll be able to see that moving around, you're getting all types of throws. Overhead strike. 
mean, there's a lot of that going around where the kids try things that they see on television. First of all, they need to go to a qualified, if it's martial arts orientated, a qualified martial arts school such as ours and learn the techniques properly. Because when you learn the techniques properly, you can control the techniques to the point of missing by an inch or hitting as hard as you want to if you actually have to use your, your techniques. And they have to understand that what they see in the movies is fantasy, that it's, uh, it's people acting out uh, certain uh, scenarios that it's not real and nobody gets hurt nobody gets killed that it's just nothing more than for entertainment but if they uh, you know if they try something that's difficult they could get seriously hurt